one way or another, you've got to travel to get to Disney. And today we're going to be talking about traveling tips. This is episode number 33. I'm Soraya. I'm Aurora. And together we're just Just your your average average Disney Disney travelers. Okay, Rory and I have very different feelings about travel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I, um, I was involved with a discussion today that where it brought up the, it's not just about the destination, it's about the journey and everything. So for me, no, 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 no. It's about the destination. I don't enjoy the journey. I have a hard time traveling. Rory. It's complete opposite. Complete opposite. She enjoys the journey. She loves the I travel. I love long car rides. I often wish they're longer, but also... But I hate when it's going slow, which is weird. Like, I want the car going fast. Oh, so as long I, as the car is going at a fast enough speed, you like it? Well, no, I still like it. It oh, just okay. annoys me when, <laughs> when you like, go slow. It's so weird because I'll just be sitting there and, like, I'll just be laying down. And then, like, it, like as soon as it slows down, I just get annoyed. I don't know why. It annoys me so much when the <laughs> so car you have to go really through, like, it would, like, you're on a highway or something and you have to go slow down while you go through a little town. It drives you crazy. Yes. I don't oh, that's like, funny. I, I did like not know that slow. about you. I like the vibrations. Oh, okay. Well, that kind of makes sense, that's actually. That's probably actually why. Like, that I, does make sense. I, I, you, I like vibrations. You also yes. really enjoy flying. Yeah, I do. She likes turbulence. <laughs> I don't, who likes turbulence? She thinks it's fun. I get sick. Well, <laughs> I yeah, don't enjoy it. Just, like, I mean, it's not like, I don't like it like where it's just like you're like put your hands like, in the air, we. <laughs> yeah, it's not like I like like it's not like I'm gonna enjoy like a, like a plane crashes, but like no, 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 but, no, but like but just the turbul- bumpiness, you, the you ride make of it. it. Sound like it's like awful. It's not. No, you're right. You turbulence is normal. I understand that. I'm not saying it's gonna turbulence means you're crashing. Yeah, but you're just like who does that? No, 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 no. I just I, I turbulence. A lot of people it makes them nervous or nauseous or both. And so that's why. But anyway, so we have dear friends. I like it when the landings are bumpy. <laughs> See, a lot of people don't like it when the land. I don't like it when the landings are bumpy. It makes it more interesting. It does make it more interesting. But anyhow, so we come from very different perspectives. Oh yeah. On the travel portion of it, but no matter what, you got to travel to get there. I mean, there's a. There are some people who live right next to Disneyland or Disney World or within, like they live there. But in general, if, if you all are going to Disney, you're no traveling to get you're, there. Like, Cause like, even if they live right next to it, they might want to go to another. That's true. They're, gonna, yeah. they're eventually gonna travel somewhere, but anyways. And it doesn't have to be just for Disney. Yeah. So what are your favorite things about traveling? What do you like about travel? Um, being able to space out yeah that's literally zone out that's literally all I do so that's you now when you were younger what did you I like about it I still did that I still did that I don't know exactly daydreaming type yeah. of yeah mm-hmm. okay um I used to not do it as much before I used to but then I don't know you used to tell me that you liked when you were younger you would tell me that you liked that we were all stuck in the car nobody was going anywhere everyone was together and you knew that nobody was leaving because we we're all in the car and so you like that we were all that. together, the car together for a long time. And, you know, sometimes there's games or whatever, movies yeah. and things like that. Um, I think for me, obviously, for me, when I think of travel, it's like when you get to where it's you're like traveling dread. to and experiencing. <laughs> you think of the traveling itself, you're just like red. <laughs> I I, ha- I I I just get sick easily. I get headaches yeah. easily. And so it's not a fun process. The travel part is the necessary evil whether I'm flying or driving and so so no matter what I just have to do it together and so I just want to get through it however if I am going to be traveling there are some things you can still enjoy about it and one of the things I do like is if we're able to see different areas different places so it's kind of neat to drive through a place that you don't live at and to see what it's like what the the scenery is and what's the you know how what kinds of trees are in this part of see, the state? See, that's also or... completely opposite of me. I'm not a very scenic person. We're, we're very different in a lot of ways. Yeah. But we are a joy in our love for Disney. Yes. Okay. All right. So some some things you'd want to do um, for if you're going on a trip. And, and some of this stuff is going to be both 
for car rides as well as flights, or I don't know, you're taking a train, whatever. I, I, we've never traveled by train, so I can't say on that. But travel preparations, some are gonna be the same. Bring your stuff. Bring your stuff. <laughs> Thank you, that was so helpful, yes. So I, I, I obviously first, if you're going to be driving, make sure that you have the car prepped. Uh, make sure you've done a check on, you know, oil and your tire pressure and things like that. Make sure your car is in good, reliable condition and, you know, that you're familiar with enough it, enough that if, um, as you're traveling, you know what to keep an eye on. But other than that, um, obviously snacks, I think. Snacks might be my favorite part of travel, actually. I, we, okay. we do get. Reason, I like, just don't feel like eating on car trips unless it's popcorn. I'll. Yes, we do have a lot of popcorn I'll on our trips. Just, like, I'll just. Eat. a whole I big bag popcorn. of popcorn yes yeah but then like we'll have a bunch of other snacks and then i'll be like i don't really feel like eating but then as soon as there's popcorn i'm just like no, yeah a little... oh who doesn't like popcorn popcorn's just the best snack it's so it is now i want popcorn well, but we can have some afterwards. we might so um snacks and i think it's good especially if you have younger kids to ha let them be special snacks that you don't normally have yes um it's it is fun like if you're going to disney to get some Disney snacks, make it a whole theme of the trip. You know, there's Mickey goldfish and the, you know, fruit snacks and, and things like that. So you can do that, but even if not, just get, go ahead and let them have some snacks that are special that you don't normally have. I mean, obviously sometimes the reason why they can't is dietary, obviously. So don't, don't give anyone something they shouldn't have, but have a little fun with it. Yeah, it's probably best to not kill your family members before you get to Disney. <laughs> Could put a damper on the vacation. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, probably. Toys too, but don't, I don't think, I don't know. As a kid, do you think, I, I always think you don't want to go overboard. You don't want the whole car flowing and overflowing in toys. But what do you think? As a kid, do you play with a lot of toys or did you play with just a couple? Like what would be good for you? Um, you don't remember? I mean- I mean, now I like a fidget toy, maybe like sure. yeah. something like. But I mean, like a little. Kids yeah, I know, I know. But like, I'm thinking. The only thing I could think, like, I mean, I might have like one or two. But I don't know. I didn't really do like toys. In the I think car. if when we would do longer yeah. trips, I would do, um, especially if it was something like Disney, I would do new toys. Like I would yeah. do, a, and and it doesn't have to be Disney themed. But you go to the dollar store or the dollar spot, whatever they call it, t Target. You can get inexpensive. Um, get toys and things that um, are new to them because I think that even when they bring like their favorite toys they still a car ride can get really boring and they're gonna get bored even with their favorite toys so giving them something new whether it's a sticker book or an activity book um, whether it's a little game um, you know just something that's a good car travel game yeah any of those kinds of things um, even if it's literally just um, a coloring book even you know I mean just anything that's different than the, something they haven't had yet um, something that's new to them will at least keep their attention I usually figured one new toy per hour was what when you were really little, like when we would do a long flight to Disney World or something, I would have that feels in my like back about, but they're a little tiny. Well, that's true. If you have a very long ride, it, it can <laughs> add up per hour. Yeah. Um. So like if we were driving to Disneyland, a 16 hour drive, I would not do that. <laughs> but you know, a six hour flight and, and it would just be little, those little dollar store things, like nothing, nothing super fancy. And also stuff that if they got left on the plane or if they got, trampled on the floor of the car it wasn't going to be the end of the world it was just really to keep you busy and distracted and happy and honestly my kids are pretty good sleepers they were I think a lot of kids are good sleepers in cars um but they slept through half of it too which is nice so yeah I don't do that anymore not any well sometimes sorry sometimes I'll lay, you do. no okay in the car I'll lay down and I'll be resting I'll might doze off but it's not like I'm actually sleeping the whole time yeah I'm not yeah I'm I only sleep like if I could, like, if we go to, like, California or we have, like, one of those 10-hour drives, I'll probably only sleep for probably, like, a couple hours of the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't sleep Like, most half of the it. time or anything. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so another thing that we have always been able to do, um, and it's even easier nowadays, so kids these days are kind of expecting it even, um, is have movies to be able to play. Um, back in the day, man, we had to carry our little DVD, our portable that. DVD player and strap it to the yeah. seat and all that. Now well, they're just built that. into the cars or they're on your device. We or, still don't have it built in our car. No, we don't. Because there's no point to. I don't really, I, I'm not, 
I don't ever, you know, it's like we they have on our music. devices. And, yeah. So what we do, which is interesting, because like you said, they'll make, do they make you sick because of the motion sickness of watching the video? Yeah. Yeah. Same with me. So, but we still will do that and listen to them because of their movies that we're familiar with. I mean, with. like usually it's fine, but after a while, it yeah. typically, yeah. Also, strangely enough, when I'm like sideways, it actually doesn't bother me as much. Oh, you're so weird. Like I'll be playing like geometry dash and I'll be, you're eat. fine if you're sideways. Yeah, I get, I have to. So be then forward. again, that's also moving, but then it's moving the opposite. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really that's know. Weird. But like, I'll be like completely fine. Like I'll just be like sitting sideways and I'll be completely fine. All right. So what? When you were a kid, were some of your favorite car activities and games? When you were a child, do you, what do you remember? What like fondly? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know, like the Mad Libs? Okay, that's a good one. Yeah, we've done that before. We'll take the Mad Libs and then do it as a car. Um, That's fun. Um, I don't really know anything specific. Maybe just movies. Yeah. Growing up, we, uh, of course, did all of those, the ABC games, you know, you do that sometimes, or, or the license plate game, or um, one we games. did, you know, like you look for an A and oh. then a B and then a C, you know. Um, then the, the, but we had a, and I don't remember all of the rules. And so now I kind of make them up whenever we do this. And it's not super often because now Rory's a teenager and Rory likes to just put in her earbuds and pretend like we don't exist. And she lays in the back of the, the backseat of the car or something. And just like, keep feeding me popcorn and I'll listen to my music and pretend like I'm asleep and tell me when we get there. But <laughs> before we reach that stage, um, every now and then, or sometimes Ryan and I will still once in a while, um, there was a game we played growing up called, I think it was called White Horses, I think. But it was like you counted the horses that you would see along the car ride. And if you had white horses, they were like double the points or something like that. And if you saw a hospital, you doubled the amount of horses because they all had babies or, or like, no, 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 maybe it was a, I can't remember. It was like all these things. Like but if you saw I, a chapel, then they got married and you got another, so many horses. I and remember. If you saw a cemetery, everybody else's horses, they're like half their horses died because you saw the cemetery That's first or brain, yeah. like, they had all these rules and, and I don't remember all the but details. I That's what I remember now. What when I, do I was now. like five or something, me and my dad, usually it's specifically i think dad i don't know if we did it as much but like like it's, i think we did it mostly with cars but like if we would both have like a color of a car like we'll choose a color oh yeah and then we'll the count to, you see him no, not first but like we'll count how many we see and then the winner yeah so, that's a good like, one too yeah. um anyway so you can search good car games um, there's of course bingo bingo is always a good one um, car bingo um, seeing different things um, and so you can end that you can kind of just create yourself but you can also search those and find them a lot of times for free on Pinterest and things yeah. like that so, so those are for fun. certain kids you might need many to many activities yeah like those like the bingo because often you might get stuck and like there's no new ones but yeah. I don't know. It's just like just it depends on what's yeah. on your bingo list. Yeah, and your and, and where and where you are child, traveling. Yeah, your attention, the attention, the, the attention span of your child. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right. So, what about flights? What's your favorite? Well, oh wait, wait. That was what I was asking you. What your favorite as a child? Now, what is your favorite activity? Even though already, I already said it. <laughs> we are. We already said that. Make it official. Just say it. Um, daydreaming and pretending the world doesn't exist yeah putting your earbuds in closing our eyes and tuning us all out yep yeah that's pretty much <laughs> all right favorite flight activities as your kid like, oh as a kid because i mean you can't some of these car car activities probably you can't watching, do you can't do like watching a movies. horse game <laughs> well yeah but probably like watching movies yeah and yeah. we did the same thing we'd have our device and have movies mm-hmm. still that's yeah. what we do um i think a lot of people do and i think that's smart um uh, anything else though do you have any yeah. other honestly it's about the same I think yeah. I think it's the same for you yeah like both when I was a kid and then now it's the, that's still what you the like exact to do same. like well not like but like it was the same between the cars and the place okay. obviously it's not the same like yeah like what I like what my favorite is now and then yeah more, but, yeah um, you know, if you're flying, it's always kind of, you know, sometimes the flight attendants will like totally love on your little kids and give them, get them their wings. And occasionally you'll even get to go to the, the cockpit. I don't know if they do that very much anymore, but huh? you know, they, you've been given wings, like the little pin, the, or maybe it was even a sticker. I don't I can't remember. remember this at all. Southwest airlines. You've got, you, uh, we had, we've had a couple of them. 
he didn't go into the cockpit, but they would give, give you wings. Oh, they also would give my kids extra cookies. I'm like, uh-huh. please, why do you give them extra sugar? They already got some the cookies. <laughs> yeah. Give me the sugar. <laughs> um, all right. So, okay. So a big part of travel, this is what I don't like and keep saying is motion sickness. So some things that you'd want to do to prevent it. I get motion sickness. Kids, anyone can get motion sickness on cars or flights. So it doesn't hurt to be prepared. Um, there are things you can do that are just straight up over the counter, safe for all ages. Do you have anything you do look like you want to say something? I was going to say like, maybe like sleeping age. So then like, if you're not driving, just have them sleep. Well, and for kids, you know, they do, they have that drama, the drama mean, the kids drama mean, and that Mm -hmm. settles their tummy. It pretty much lets them, they kind of zone it, you know, they sleep, they, they do, it makes them drowsy. Um, there is stuff that's non-drowsy, but I'm not sure. Like I said, for me, I've said this before in the past, they don't work on me. I still get drowsy. So I don't know how it affects other people (laughs) if the non-drowsy actually works for them or not. But for me, I still get tired. So it doesn't matter how non-drowsy it is. It wipes me out. Um, But so, but yeah, so there's kids forms of that. Um, I've always said ginger is my best friend for not even just traveling, just in life. Oh, because you're a ginger. Oh, maybe that's why I like ginger so much. My husband's my favorite. I tell my kids this all the time. <laughs> they just don't accept that answer. I do accept this. So okay. It's time to joke around. Okay. So joke ginger about. is, it's just, it's just ginger. So if they will take a pill, you can give them a, a pill form and they'll swallow it. That's a great way. But also there's ginger candy, ginger ale. I always travel with ginger ale I love ginger in the car. So yummy. We keep ginger ale cans in the car whenever we're traveling just as much as, well, I, we keep more water in the car when we're traveling, but we keep, it's just as important as the water to me because I need it to settle my tummy a lot. Make sure you like don't die. Yeah. Well, yeah. And so, um, motion sickness, uh, uh, that those are some things, I mean, you can do things like we've talked about for cruising patches and stuff like that, but I, I think that, um, I don't, I never have to go. Usually I usually don't go that extreme. I usually, um, just keep it to ginger and maybe some pills. If I'm not driving, I'll take something, but usually I'm driving. So I try to just keep it to the ginger. Um, all right. So what are some tips? Do you have tips in general about travel? Not really. The only thing that's popping in my mind is getting like, maybe like a, like, I don't know, good earbuds. Getting <laughs> like what? Good earbuds. Or oh. something. Um, actually, <laughs> no, that's, actually true. That's, that's, that's actually a good point. Cause like, I usually, I used to have like the normal, like the cheap kind of like, I guess the, I don't know if they're like Apple or something. I don't know. Yeah. I don't, earbuds. <laughs> I don't know what they were. I think. I don't know. I don't know. They worked with my phone. That's okay. not Apple. So I don't know. If that, I don't know. You just had some less, lesser quality earbuds. Yeah. And now you have better earbuds and they work better or ear- well, headphones. Just, or- I just realized why you went like we had that reaction. Okay. <laughs> I did, yeah. I didn't mean like that. No, it's okay. Yeah. So but like they're, they, they're just cheaper ones. And like when I'm laying, they kind of go like, they're they, not as comfortable. Yeah. And like, honestly, like they kind of, it's kind of like, they, like I'll, I, I could find like, it, it just like depends on like my position. So like, no matter the earbuds, they probably do that. But the um, problem is, often when they're cheap headphones so the quality wasn't as good which on the road is awful yeah a lot of well. lot of road noise yeah mm-hmm. same with the and airplane so, there's a lot yeah. of noise on the airplane and also like they might keep falling out and then you have to like i would always have to like push press them in, in. <laughs> but like now i have ones where you actually like it's the ones with the squishy bits that you just go i missed <laughs> squishy bits <laughs> well they yeah. are no, no, no. Well, like, yeah it, you, just, like, you just squish it in and then it yeah. blocks out noise yeah so that is true out. um adults appreciate the noise canceling type of headphones as well when they're traveling on flights especially um but yeah it, the quality of earbuds does make a difference oh yeah yeah um so i would uh tips i would say to bring a have a garbage bag in the back with the kids partly it, to keep kind of control over the trash because you know your road trips it's going to get messy yeah. you're going to have chips and things all over the floor and all that oh, yeah. and that's just going to happen but if you have a garbage bag at least that'll keep that at a minimum I mean obviously they don't aren't intentionally throwing their chips on the floor because they're trying to eat them but if they've got wrappers yes. woo, keep the wrappers under control and then the best part about that is if you do need a makeshift barf bag <laughs> you've got it just grab the trash and 
grocery aim it at your kid. Oh wait, trash. Oh. Grocery bag. Well, I was grocery, grocery bag's bag. better than nothing. Whatever you've got. Um, and if you now, they actually make good bags to catch that. I this is such a gross topic, but the barf bags. Huh? And so, like, you can actually take some like especially if you're on a flight that used to be back in the day you'd always see bags in the, at least every row would have one i don't there's been a lot of times i haven't seen any bags and i don't really? know if that means people are using them or if they just Even aren't stocking them anymore them. oh do you oh, no. it seems I, to me i, I haven't have, to be honest i haven't been paying attention so see these are things memory, i pay attention to because i'm always worried about like, yeah it. it's there because you know it's a plane they should be there yeah. but now that i think about it i actually have no idea yeah i I would bring, I, I, I would bring I one if you're worried. Several, I don't remember ever being like, oh, there's not a, like. I remember uh, growing up and we would be going to the coast. We lived in California. We'd be going to the coast and it's very windy to get there. And our poor family, and I was one of the contributors. I was one of the ones that kept having to stop to puke. And we just have to keep pulling over to the side and open the door. And then whoever it was, me and probably often another sibling would be, hacking over the edge you know out of the car and it's like every five minutes it felt like I don't know if it was more like a half hour but it wasn't very long we'd get going you're laughing but you know it's that true would, it would make it it, would, it is oh. awful it is so awful but That'd anyways awful. Oh. I'm so glad that you don't do that anymore no I don't and and having fresh air helps you know and stuff like that but man oh man that was just but yeah so have a bag have a trash bag anyways and then that can double if you have an emergency like that um, and then, of course, the blanket. Yeah, the comfort toy or, yeah. or blanket that will help your child feel safe and comfortable and, and just warm in general. And warm in general, yeah. That's true because you got, even with the multi climate cars nowadays, you can have the back different from the front or the left different from the right. Yeah. But it's still the same vehicle and air travels and all of that. And like if the driver is trying to stay alert and wants cold air and the back of the car is freezing and wanting to be yeah. warm. And yeah. Also, but, bringing a pillow is really yeah. nice. And I love that they have pillow pets and, and uh, small pillows these days for the kids because then yeah. that's, it that doesn't take as much room, but it, you and know. it could like double as like a stuffed animal yeah to cuddle with yeah that is all true so anyways so those are our tips traveling um whether you love it or you don't it's it's part of life and so it's it always goes better and more smoothly if you're a little prepared and you've planned ahead and have some you have a little bit of a game plan um it is cool if you have the time to take make extra stops and see things along the way stop at vista points and take some photos that can make it a little bit more fun and also give people a little bit of break to stretch their legs and things but um however you do travel like i said i'm always like let's just get there let's get this over with let's start the real fun i want to get past this day but um however it is you travel opposite. you're the opposite though you like to take yeah just vibing the whole time yeah yeah the longer the, the ride the better yep Anyway, so however you travel, then um, hopefully those tips can help. And that's it. We'll see you next week. See you.